Good morning, happy Friday. Welcome to Breakfast at Tiffany's on this lovely March 18th, 2022. <laughs> I don't know why I need to throw the year in there, but I just did. Um, <clears throat> I want to talk a little bit about daylight savings time since we just switched to that. And I just was curious and I did some research because I, if you haven't heard, the Senate just passed a bill, unanimously passed a bill that we will stick to, um, we'll spring forward next year in 2023 and stay that way forever. It just needs the president to sign off on it. Um, so I did some research on this and I was always told, I don't know why, I was always told that the reason we started changing the time on the clocks was because of first farmers to give farmers, you know, more daylight hours to, um, to work in, you know, do, you know, do what they need to do. But of course, changing the clock doesn't give any more daylight hours to the day. <laughs> and I think farmers pretty much adjust to whatever time and they don't really care about the clock. They care about the sun. And so they get up and they, you know, at sunrise and go to bed at sunset. So anyway, I looked it up and according to Google, that original it, they say originally was daylight savings time was meant to reduce energy consumption by setting the clocks forward thus extending the hours of daylight further into the evening the more sunlight people require less electricity for with more sunlight people require less electricity for art, artificial lighting so i thought that was interesting and i was also wondering when we started this whole daylight savings time thing and I read that Germany was the first to adopt daylight savings time in May, on May 1st, 1916, dur during World War I as a way to conserve fuel. The rest of Europe followed soon after. The United States didn't adopt daylight savings time until March 19th, 1918. It was unpopular and abolished after World War I. And then I think it came back in 1966 because it became a standard in the US with the passage of the Uniform Time Act of 1966, which mandated standard time across the country within established time zones. That's interesting that it says this was a, a mandated the time across the country when I know there are certain states that don't do it. I know Arizona does not change their clocks and I think there's other states that don't also. So that's kind of weird. And then I also read, so I was thinking that, you know, this has been in effect since I was born. But for 16 months in the mid 1970s, America's clocks sprang forward and never fell back. Year round daylight savings time signed into law by President Richard Nixon on January 1974 sought to maximize evening sunlight and in doing so helped mitigate an ongoing national gas crisis. So that's interesting. So Nixon tried this in 1974 and it happened, worked for 16 months and then people decided they didn't like to do it anymore so they stopped. So I'm wondering if this will this will last this this change in 2023 if the president signs off on it. So anyway, you probably didn't need all those facts today, but I just thought it was interesting and uh, we were talking about time this week, so I just thought I'd share with you. I also wanted to share with you something new we're starting this um, this weekend when we photograph this weekend. I haven't even told my team members about this yet, so if they're watching this video today, they'll find out for the first time. <laughs> I made a chart that it's probably going to show up backwards here, maybe not. Yeah, so this is going to have measurements for um, shirts and dresses, and I put how, where to measure, and, and we can fill this in the dry erase marker and then wipe it off. And this will be like the last picture of the, um, in the listing. And it will also help Lori, because the person that photographs is Vicki, and Lori writes up the listing. And then, so this will give her the proper information to put into the description and the listing. And then on the back side, I did pants and skirts. So I know there's, 15 other measurements you can do for each piece of clothing, but we're just going to go with the basics here. So that's what we're doing. 
But anyway, it's um, I laminated it so it's just dry erase marker and then wipe off. And we you can you know photograph that and put that the last picture of every listing. So I don't I don't get asked the measurement questions anymore. <laughs> um, so we're gonna start trying that with clothes um, this weekend if we do any clothes this weekend. We're probably gonna do most of the Easter stuff because we got a huge consignment of Easter stuff in Easter and garden or spring garden stuff. And we're going to work on photographing all that this weekend because a lot of it's going to be shown. Well, not a lot of it. Some of it's going to be shown in our live sale next Sunday, the 27th. Because we're going to be doing an Easter, spring, pastel color themed uh, live sale. But I was looking at, at our Easter stuff and we have so much Easter specific stuff on consignment that we can't even... I don't even have a long enough, you know, time to show you everything that we have for Easter in our live sale. So we're going to pick and choose. We're going to do the best of the best and all the rest of course will be available on our store, on eBay and on our Shopify website. And, um, that's all coming very soon. So a lot of the Easter stuff's already up there. A few years ago, we made some Easter basket bundles and we have some of those left. So those are listed right now and those can be bought anytime. We've got some girl bundles and some boy bundles and some general unisex bundles. <laughs> um, Non-binary bundles? Anyway, um, so that's what we're doing this weekend. Uh, Vicky's been off for two weeks, so she hasn't been here photographing. So we've been, what we've been listing every day from the stuff that we had plenty of stuff photographed. So she's coming this weekend to work on that. My mom's also coming tomorrow and we're gonna take a few hours out of tomorrow to go do some shopping and some fun, but then we'll be working the rest of the weekend. But I also wanted to show you a new consignment I got in, and this is a amazing, if you know what snow babies are. Snow babies. I got 45 snow babies. I haven't even looked at them all, but I brought a few up here to show show you. But they're all, look like they're all classic. They're all in the box. Um, I was gonna read this. This is the little, little, little Snow Babies thing that's in inside each one. It says, once upon a time in a far off wintry land, Jack Frost grew lonely and took the task to hand. He used his magic powers and smiled when he was through for what he'd made were Snow Babies, a joy for me and you. On tiny sleds they slide, down icy hills they go, they laugh and sing together, they frolic in the snow, and while we're busy playing throughout the frosty day, they hope the winter sunshine won't melt them all away. So I know we're just hitting spring and winter's over, but I can't help when, when, they, when, the, when the consignments come in. And um, we won't be listing these right away because we have to concentrate on the Easter stuff first, but we will be getting to these soon just because online you can buy stuff out of season anytime so here's one if you don't know what snow babies are this is the first one and they're made by department 56 I just love them they're so adorable so I have 45 of these all different except for um, there's an ornament here. Well, I don't even know if they're all different. What am I saying? I haven't checked them all. <laughs> so, I'm assuming they're all different, but there could be some duplicates. I don't know. But they all come in these nice boxes. I do have these, though, these ornaments. There's a bunch of these. Now, I don't know if the ornaments are um, different or slightly different or or if they're all the same but there's so many ornaments down there you could definitely do a whole tree just with these ornaments so I have that I don't know how many you want to see here they're all kind of hidden but here's here's one you can see the picture here it lights bad but there you can't really see them through the They're so cute. They're so cute. I'm not going to open each one because that would take me forever. 
And then they're hard to get closed back up again. Well, this one, she put the picture on the outside. It's a little, I'm going on the sled. Here's one. Holding a wreath. And they all have different names, I guess. I've never really had any before, but I, I know of them. This one's called I'll Play You a Christmas Tune. It looks like this little guy playing a flute. This one's cute. And this one is a mystery. This one's got little angel wings. I don't think they all have angel wings. It's got a present. So cute. Anyway, 45 of these. It's a lot to go through. This is just a very small sampling of everything I have. And we will get to these sometime after we finish all the Easter stuff. So... The other thing I wanted to tell you was we are open for consignment and you don't have to be local to consign with us. So if you want to sh ship us a box of clothes or anything, we're, op we're um, open for that. And we will take anything, anything, literally anything. I just sold some Volkswagen Beetle parts, <laughs> um, everything. We'll take anything. So... I hope you have a great weekend and I will talk to you next week and um, next week this little tree will be Easter decorated because I'm going to take this down this weekend and switch it over so we're ready for next week's sale and I'll see you. Everybody have a good weekend. Bye.